Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and our quick shots. In this quick shot, we're going to be giving you an overview of a utility built into Windows 8 and all previous versions of Windows for that matter called msconfig. It gives us a lot of valuable information about the startup of our system. There are a couple of ways we can do that. We can search for msconfig using the charms bar search or we can go into the desktop which we'll do. From the desktop we'll go to the super user menu and select the run box. In the run box we'll type msconfig and then we'll hit OK. Now this MS configuration box is just that. It's broken down into five tabs. The general, the boot, services, startup, and tools. Now let's go back to general. The default selection under the general tab is selective startup load system services and load startup items are checked. You'll notice the original boot configuration is checked but it's grayed out which means it is not available to us in this selection. We also have normal startup and diagnostic startup. Now when I select normal startup watch what happens to the check marks down here in the selective area. Normal they're all grayed out and they're all checked. Watch what happens when I go to diagnostic. The first two are unchecked. The third one stays checked and is grayed out, which means we can't change it. The only way we can change these manually is to go to selective startup. And as you can see, the first two are no longer checked because we have switched. So I want to put them back to their normal selection. Let's go to the boot configuration. And by the way, under general, you may want to change some of these startup functions, especially if you're having some difficulty with your Windows 8 installation, Windows 8 operation, or some program difficulty. Let's go to the boot tab. This tells us that we are booting Windows 8 as our primary and default operating system. From here we have some selections at the bottom. Be very careful about what you select because you can get thoroughly confused. And I also want to point out one special checkbox over here at the bottom right. If you check this and make all boot settings permanent, they will be permanent until you come back in here and change them again. And you may not remember that you did this. How do I know? I did it we have the safe boot function. If you're having problems with Windows 8, either booting, completing a boot, shutting down, whatever. If you select, if you're able to get into this configuration screen and you select safe boot, click apply and then OK. When you reboot your computer, it will reboot into a safe or minimal mode. Hopefully it will boot and if it does, now you can do some further troubleshooting. Again, be very careful about what you select here, though. We're going to uncheck it, put it back to its original default setting. Let's go to the Services tab. All versions of Windows have services. These are things that are either needed by Windows or required by certain other functions within Windows. These services are all default. I recommend that unless you know what you're doing here, do not uncheck any of these service functions. They can actually prevent your system from booting. Let's go to the Startup tab. In the Startup tab, you'll notice there's nothing there. It says Open Task Manager. By clicking this, we will open the Task Manager and it'll go right to the Startup tab in Task Manager. Let's do that. And as you can see, we're in the Startup tab, and we only have one startup program here, and that is my virtual machine. Let's close down the Task Manager, and let's go to Tools. Tools 
these are commands that you can actually run in the run box or you can launch from here to actually do things. For example, if I about Windows, it tells me that where the file is located, it's winver.exe and it's located in the Windows System 32 directory. It's highlighted. If I launch it, it comes up with information about my Windows. In this case, it does show the build number, the uh, copyright date, and the software license if we need to get to it. Let's just close that down. There are other uh, types of tools that you can run here, including System Restore. Be very careful about this, though. We want to make sure that you can run System Restore from within Windows itself and not usually from the system configuration screen. There is also the registry editor. This is one that you should be really, really sure you know what you're doing before you go in and change anything. The registry is nothing more than the large recipe book for Windows. It has everything it needs to know how to operate and how to launch programs. If you change things in this registry and you don't know what you're changing and you save it, you can cause irreparable damage to your Windows installation. Well, that's our startup configuration. That'll do it for this quick shot. Please visit us at the website at thetechnologycloset.com. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. Until next time.